and welcome to the Study Travel News video. I'm Nicola Hancock and I'm Bethan Norris bringing you the latest news stories. The headlines this week, Twin Group acquires Alpha College of English, Spanish outbound market buoyant as Canada grows, UK independent sector responds to trafficking report and much more including another acquisition, new pathways and new summer centres. But first up, UK headquartered Twin Group has announced a further expansion of its island portfolio with the acquisition of Alpha College of English in Dublin. The deal, which includes the Young Learner Division, adds to, tw to Twin's entry into the Irish ELT and work experience sectors last year. Twin said that Alpha College's memberships of MEI, IALC and Equals were testament to its dedication to high quality and praised the portfolio of professional focused programmes. Caroline Fox, CEO of Twin, said the acquisition gave the ideal opportunity to accelerate their island growth strategy while increasing the breadth and depth of their offer there. Stephen Short, Managing Director of Alpha College of English, said they were proud of the business they had built and the quality of education provided for 30 years, and that it was good to know the school and team would be continue as part of Twin Group. To Spain now, where the buoyant outbound sector and the growth of Canada were themes at the annual workshop hosted by agency association Asaprosa in Madrid last week. Study Travel magazine news editor Matthew Knott gave a presentation showing growth in the language and secondary school sectors for Spanish agencies and highlighted that the market share of language business going to the UK and Ireland decreased compared with previous surveys. Oscar Porras, uh, president of Asa Procé, said the market was growing, particularly for can Canadian secondary programmes. He added that Malta was regaining recognition in the Spanish market, with more agencies and parents considering summer residential programmes there. The ongoing UK withdrawal from the EU has made some parents nervous, he added. Next up, the UK's independent school sector has assured that all safeguarding and visa compliance procedures are being strictly maintained following an investigation by the Times newspaper that claimed the sector has been targeted by traffickers and that 21 Vietnamese students entering on Tier 4 child visas have disappeared in the last four years. Julie Robinson, Chief Executive, Chief Executive of the Independent Schools Council, said that child protection was a top priority and that schools uphold the high standards of being a sponsor. She said the disappearances were reported to the police and Home Office immediately. The Boarding Schools Association said it had urged its members to be vigilant when recruiting from Vietnam. And now for a roundup of some of the other stories this week. And more acquisition news as UK headquartered home tuition provider IH Intuition Languages has been purchased by Hong Kong based Providentia Education. The brand name and IH affiliation will be retained, with Norman Renshaw remaining as a non executive director for a transitional period. Pathway provider Shorelight has announced a new partnership with the University of New Hampshire in the USA to prepare international students for study at the institution. Global ELT provider LAL has announced an expansion of its UK Young Learner offer with new university-based summer centres in Manchester and London. UK ELT provider LSI Portsmouth has officially been welcomed as a new affiliate of the International House or IH Global Network of Language Schools. UK-based summer provider Oxford Spires Language School has announced a rebrand to Oxford Spires International and is adding new locations to its portfolio and a suite of plus options for 2020. The ratio of international students at doctorate level in Stockholm's universities has increased from 29% to 43% over the last 10 years, according to a report by the Stockholm Academic Forum. And finally, Cats Canterbury has officially opened a new 66-bed residence. The sixth boarding house on campus will be named after the Franklin in Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, who was characterised by his generosity and hospitality, the company said. More on all of those stories online, as well as photos from the aforementioned Asaprosse workshop and a marketing English in Ireland reception at the Irish Embassy in Madrid. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>